This video will go over uh, how to tell if your cam gear has uh, shifted or moved on a current four-stroke motocross bike. I've seen it three times or four times now. I want to do a quick video to give you some insight on how to tell if it's moved, which is really tricky, and also um, what bikes I've seen it on. I saw it on a Yamaha 250F, and they have the uh, cam shafts usually positioned like this, so you can see the lobes usually match, always facing out. A uh, Hondas can be facing in, so it's tricky. But dual cam, Kawasaki RMZ and YZ250F, I'm pretty sure, both lobes, you could look at them. So if you had your timing marks perfect and you looked at these lobes and one lobe was, was different, you can just tell, you know, it was different. Be very suspect. You really won't be able to tell if it is until you buy a new camshaft. It moves just a little bit. So don't think you can measure this and guess. It's really tricky. You've got to buy the new cam, and as soon as you get them, you can tell what's going on with it. So um, I have a Yamaha one here. It's the exhaust. And yeah, when it's lined up with the dot, the lobe was too far down. I could tell. You know, it was like flat, whereas normally it matches the intake. So that was suspect. I saw that right away. This bike wouldn't run after um, the guy put the oil filter in backwards. You can see where it's blue right there, and you can see where it, it ruined the camshaft. It blued it right there. See all the blueing on that? So, uh, 2009 Yamaha 250F, and that was an uh, oil loss caused that. So I knew about that, though, from a Cowie that I had that did it. And it's tricky to figure out. Here's a Honda I did that's a single cam. This one over here is the reason I'm doing this video because I need to build this engine and I need this camshaft, the good one. And if you look over here, you can tell that, um, I'll try to get this camera close for you guys. I have it all lined up with a magnet. I put them together and you can see that, um, it's really going to be hard to see, but my lines are totally lined up on the bottom pretty much. And I should have caught this. I didn't catch it, and the cam barely uh, caused the valves to clip a piston and stuff while I built an engine. So this engine blew up. We didn't know why. And it looked like a valve hit a piston, but we really couldn't tell until we got a new cam. And if I take this ruler here, I'll show you the difference. You can see coming in, it just touches the middle of the cam there. And over here, it's way higher. You can see it just touches the bottom a little bit. So it moved about two or three millimeters, four or five millimeters, whatever it is. But that's enough to throw this uh, out of time enough to blow it up. And so I um, wanted you guys to know about that. See if I didn't go over something. Look for bluing. Uh, if it runs bad or it won't start. That's, that's usually what they do, and I've seen it with the Cowie, the YZ, and the Honda so far. So, I um, hope that helps you guys, but you're really going to have to look for the low position, which is hard. You won't find pictures online where somebody's showing all that, you know, where, oh, the lobe should be here. So, um, on most of them, the, uh, the Yamahas and the uh, Cowies and stuff, the lobes match pretty much all the time. So, you'll see one off. And on the Honda, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys. So, all the single Hondas I've seen, pretty much, yes, I should have caught the fact that this lobe should be higher. I've done enough of these that when I put this cam in, a new built engine, I should have known that this thing should have been sitting up like that with the lobes. And I saw it was flat. And, and I kind of questioned that in my mind, but I, I didn't follow through with it. So, all the Hondas, pretty much, when you have them TDC, the, the motocross bikes with a single cam TDC the lobes are always up a little bit off of flat okay so you know if it's flat wait a minute you're like a two well you're about five mil off that's how much they move usually so yeah so that that's why I did this video so you guys would see that so the Hondas should be always single cam about here and the Cowies and the uh, Yamaha should always be like that and so you're gonna have to look at the lobes that's how you really determine how this is gonna go down is with your marks lined up or your lobes way off.